You are welcome to God's Word TV. Here is an online platform dedicated to spread kingdom messages to mankind. I believe this message is out to bless you. So go get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do so, please make sure you subscribe. God bless you. Sit down. There are many people parading themselves as matured Christians. You say, why? You say, I've been born again for 10 years. What does that mean? What does that mean? It is true that longevity, if well utilized, that's time. And if you invested in it spiritually, the Bible says that he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life everlasting. But he that sows to the flesh will reap corruption. You can sow to the flesh for many years. It does not mean you reap life. Are we together? This thing I told you is the basic foundation of any believer's Christian life. If you do not know this, you will leave God eventually. Something about the absence. Now imagine that, where, where are you? Come. Imagine that this guy just got born again. And the next thing he's hearing is a teaching on influence or a teaching on prosperity. This guy is going to fail woefully. Do you know why? Because it is dangerous to be taught prosperity as a carnal man. The flesh will not allow the purity of that message to bless you. The message will fall on lust that is already there. And it will make this guy a dangerously materialistic person. So there is a sequence of growth. Not every topic is relevant to every believer. Imagine that this guy gets born again and his first message is love. And, and life partner and relationship. Do you know what is going to happen to this guy? He's already dead. Even before the series on relationship is over. Because I can tell you, this guy's prayer life is not going anywhere. This guy's life is not going anywhere. The awareness that there is a beautiful lady to see and marry would not... You think he will pray the way you are praying? That you are praying like a madman, not when you are aware a lady is looking at you. No! How, what if I, I, I miss the moment and the flesh is there deceiving you and you are failing, programming woeful failure. But if this guy is taught that the beginning of his life is God, he can be praying like a madman. Any lady that does not like that demonstration does not like a profitable destiny. Yes, sir. There are people today who cannot pray in tongues because they were taught something before tongues. And what they were taught corrupted their passion. That reckless abandonment. Let me tell you, those days when we started ministry here, you would see the ladies, including hot CC ladies, when it's time to pray, they will roll under the anointing from one point to the other. They will stand up with the whole the whole paraphernalia run pulled to pieces. It matters how we are taught. It matters who, who defines your spiritual value. Who cultivates your hunger and your appetite for the things of God. The keys of the kingdom. Now, I said that because it was important to lay this foundation. But in this refresher series, my, my goal is really not to touch on these basics. Now, I want to refresh and show us again. And I'm praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, it's this week and next week. I'm praying that what you did not see before, may you see it now. How do I know I have caught light? The results. The results show that the light has come. If the results cannot show with time, then the light never came. 